What's up, guys? So it is t about 10.30 a.m. on Saturday. And uh, it seems like every time I sit down to make a fucking Lunch with Travis video, it's like I'm either not... Because I, I don't know if you saw my last video where I was chilling with Lynn, but I kind of mentioned while we were headed to the elevators that I, I spend a lot of time uh, not hungry. I spend more time not hungry than I do hungry. I only eat maybe once a day. The only time I eat more than once a day is if I smoke and I kind of get the munchies or whatever. But other than that, I only eat about once a day. I just don't have an appetite most of the time. Um, and it's just been that way for a long time. Um, but it's like, unless I feel like making a video at that one time during the day that I prefer to eat, then I don't want to do it. But it's like, there's so many, t there's, there's, there's so many times throughout the day that I feel like making a video like this, but I'm just not hungry. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try a little bit of something. We're going to do a lunch with Travis, except it's going to be fucking, it's going to be, we're going to have air for lunch, if you guys don't mind. So feel free to go ahead and just put on a video game or put on a show or something like this. I guess you can't really put on a show. I guess you could. Or just do whatever, and uh, I'll talk to you. I know there's a lot of you that enjoy this one. Because, well, I, I'm, it's not a bad thing. It's part of the reason why I do what I do. And, uh, yeah. So, there's a couple subjects that I wanted to talk about today. First of all, I wanted to talk about my friend JoJo. You guys have met JoJo. But there's this thing about him that he does. He does this thing. Okay, he's a big guy. You guys have seen him. He's a big guy. And that's the reason that I took him to see Tech 9 with me. Is because I'm not a big guy. And he is a big guy. And, uh, God damn it, why won't my mic stay? And, um, here's the deal. JoJo thinks, at first I thought he was just trolling, but it turns out that he actually thinks he can beat up a bear. He thinks he can beat up any, he thinks he can beat the shit out of any animal besides a shark with his, no, even a shark. That was Will. I'm sorry. You guys haven't met Will. Will, he's an old friend of mine from, from my, from a couple of years ago, but JoJo Will thought the same thing, but he thought he couldn't beat up a shark. Which I thought was at least somewhat modest, but JoJo is absolutely convinced that just with his hands, he can beat up a bear. And I think, and it's like, no matter how much, I don't know if you guys have ever seen a bear. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a grizzly bear, like you go to a fucking zoo or something like that, but these things are not fucking around. If you guys have ever seen a bear, these things are huge. I mean, bears are, are big things. They're like, they can, they get up to like fucking 10, 11 feet tall when they stand up. It's, it's fucking insane. Like, they will fuck your shit up. They're just, and they run at like 30 miles an hour if they're really coming for that ass. And fuck, god damn. I'm not just saying this because I play one online. I'm saying this because, just somebody help, how can I, if somebody has a a video that they could send me via PM of like a bear mauling a person, preferably a big Mexican. That'd be great because that's what JoJo is. Because JoJo's absolute uh, like he goes in depth into like how he thinks he'd do it. Like he like he'd just run up to the bear and like get on its back. Like are you fucking shitting me? A bear would absolute like you know like even if the bear was just standing there, do you know how much energy it would take for a human being to beat a bear to death? Do you know how much like work that would take? Because they're just this big, they're like, a, I don't know, I'd say a bear weighs, weighs about 500 pounds, a good sized grizzly bear, I'd say it's about 500 pounds, they're about five, no, it's more than that, I'd say they're about a thousand pounds of pure fucking muscle and just claws and fur and fangs. And he's convinced that he can beat one of these up, and I'm sorry about the light that just came in from behind, that's probably making everything seem kind of a little weird. I have a big, you guys probably know, but I have a big window right here, and it decides whether or not it wants to be light really bright in here or really not depending on where the cloud and sun position is in proportion to each other I want to get like darker shades like I had in one of my old rooms but the but the the curtains or I should say I'm sorry not shades curtains I'm gonna get like darker curtains but the curtains are so huge that they don't really come they, they came with the building like everybody has the same curtains in, every, in all their rooms here in this building but um, I can't find ones big enough and even if I did, I'd have to call up the guy who, we have a guy who works, we have like two or three guys, Jeff and some other guys who work around the building whenever you need something, you just call them up. It's like, it's like a room service kind of, 
But uh, Jeff's way cool. They're they're all pretty cool, but I have to get one of them in here to change out my curtains and stuff because it's all confusing. So, whatever. Speaking of those people, we just had AT and T come over. I've just switched to AT and T, and I would show you, but I'll probably show you later. You guys may have seen it in the video where I did my computer update, where I was showing out my window. You may not have, but right down here is the AT and T building with a big fucking satellite on it. So. Internet and everything is way better. We went ahead and switched over to AT&T U-verse, me and my sister. And uh, yeah, it's good times. It's good times. But what I've, one thing I've noticed when they come over here, do you guys ever have like a ritual whenever like you guys have like Comcast or somebody come over here? Specifically those of you who spend a lot of time at your computer. Because I always, because like, okay, they set up everything at my computer because I, you know, I want to be hardwired and everything. Um, but you guys ever notice that fucking how do I put it there's nothing that I really have to hide but I always like search my entire room before like Comcast or AT&T or anybody comes over here to like set up shit uh, around my computer because it's like I don't I want to make sure that there's not something I don't want them to find because it's like they're not going to tell you if they find something really fucked up but I don't I don't know what they're going to find. And I don't like download porn or anything. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I watch porn from time to time. I do my thing. But that's all online. So, you know, you clear your you clear your browsing history. Uh, I go through all... Like, I go through every single fucking file to make sure there's not something there that I don't want fucking AT&T to see. But it's like, even when they are here, and I like to leave the room while they're here because it's just awkward. And I'm like chilling in my sister's room playing fucking games on my phone or whatever. Just fucking freaking out. Like, afraid that they've found something in here. And then when you come face to face with a person again, even if they're the coolest person, I'm all, in the back of my head, I'm always like, oh god, they fucking found something that, that I don't want them to find, and that's fucking awful. And you know, that's a bad place to be. So I, I generally just don't like worker people coming over here going through my shit. Cause that's bad. What's the next on the list? Um, oh, the serious pill. I was just thinking. I don't know. How, I don't know how depth, how in depth I can get into this one, but I was thinking they should make a serious pill. I don't know about you guys, but it's like they make a pill for everything else. How come they make a pill to make you happy? They make a pill for everything, but how come they don't make a pill that just makes you really fucking serious? Like, because I think actors could use that. Like, whenever they like can't stop laughing at a scene, they just take a pill and it just makes them serious. I think it'd be really good to like take if you need to study for a test or maybe if you go to class or something and you need to really listen in class. Um, just take the serious pill. And I wonder if they did make a serious pill, a pill that just made you extremely serious and not like angry serious, just like not entertained by things. I wonder if they made those, I wonder if that would be illegal. I wonder, do they still have new drugs coming out? Like, do they still come up with new drugs every day? Maybe not every day, but I mean, like, yearly, do they come up with a new type of drug? Because they never really hear about that. Because back in the day, you know, before probably you and I were born, before I was born, I know that, um, you know, they'd always, there'd always be, like, this new hit of, kind of, of a new kind of drug, but I never really hear anything like that anymore. I mean, I never really he heard it in my past before either, because, I, like I said, I hadn't been alive that long, but... I wonder if they do come up with new drugs every day. And I wonder I wonder if it if it's more likely for new drugs to become illegal now than then. I think it's more I think I if it was just my guess is that it was more likely for a new drug to automatically Well, do drugs that become automatically illegal? Like well and hmm. Hmm. I think drugs come out No, I'm sure that they I'm sure there's people who make just just not I'm sure unqualified people make drugs yeah but I wonder if they automatically become illegal or if scientists kind of take them in and go huh what can we do with this well I'm sure they do but I, I'm sure that they'd make the raw form illegal but I think I think it's more likely for them I, I think it's less likely for new drugs to become illegal now just because I think the world is I think generally and I, I guess I can speak only for America but I think generally we're just a more open-minded place now. Um, I think I think we owe a lot of that to just where science is now. Um, just because I think 
I think ever I think the world is getting or at least America, I think we're getting to, I think most first world countries anyway, we're getting to a place where we're getting to a place where we like to question everything and I think that's a really good thing. Um I know I know I spend a lot of time hating on 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 uh, society, but I think that's I think that's definitely a good step we're taking forward. I think we're definitely and I think that's because the old generation is slowly being flushed out and it's just us people who who have been I think we've been taught by sort of the counterculture when we were growing up too and the counterculture was the people saying you know question everything because all that existed you know 50 years ago was hard well I don't know I don't know I'm sorry if you could see Jojo yelling for my sister or hear him Casey's chilling with me right here what is up dog Fucking asshole. He wants out, but I'm not going to let him out. Where was I with that? Yeah. I don't know. Also, I wanted to talk about kamikazes. The the Japanese or Chinese, I think it was Japanese, the um, suicide pilots, for those that don't know. And this is, this is my understanding. I don't know too much about them. This was just something I wrote down while I was brainstorming. From what I understand, they used to have little rituals... For, all right, have fun. They're leaving, my sister and Jojo. Anyway, um, from my understanding, they would have... Well, well, what these people were were people that would get in airplanes, and they would... This was during war, and they would they would bolt them into these airplanes, and they'd, they'd fly around in the airplanes, and they'd do whatever. And, like, I guess as a last shot... Or maybe this is the only thing they would do, is they would run the fucking plane into the enemy, and it would kill them. But it, hopefully it would kill the enemies as well. But they would have, you know, big uh, rituals and everything for these people before they would get, you know, bolted into these cockpits to, uh, you know, die. But I always wondered, like, what the fuck was the point? What the fuck is the point of that? What do you gain? Is it, is it an honor thing? Because it seems like just a waste of money. You're building these incredible crafts of flight and you're putting a human being in them and then you're just destroying both of them it's a waste of money and a waste of life to take out fucking four or five people four or five fucking enemy people maybe it seems like i mean I'm, i i guess i'm wrong here i i really probably shouldn't be speaking on it cuz i haven't really done my research on it but i feel as though you know, it's it, it could have gone... There, there are smarter ways to go about it, but I mean, even back in the day, we were still pretty smart because they used the smartest of the smart people to decide, you know, weapons for war. And I don't know. I guess I feel like it's... <laughs> I don't... I, it's like suit. Okay, a, why not just use a suicide bomber? I guess you can't really get them into... I guess you can't just walk a... Japanese person into yeah, I can't see that. But it's, I guess it's the same concept concept as the suicide bomber. But it, why not just be a bomber? Why not just drop bombs over the fucking enemy faction, and then fly back home? But it, unless it's an honor thing, I just don't see an actual reason for the kamikaze. That I, that's just how I feel. Anyway. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Those are the main topics that I want to discuss now, but let's see if there's anything else. Well, I have to end this video in a minute because YouTube doesn't allow me to do more than 15 vid minute videos anymore. They let me do it for about a month, and then they stopped it, so whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll uh, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, God, now see, now it's dark again. It's like the fucking whatever. Oh, I got a new haircut. Oh, yeah, I talked about that in the elevator. Whatever. I will, uh, I'll see you guys later, I guess. Peace.